Hello everybody, today video about to, how to sync uh, the Pictronic Infinity Looper with Ableton Okay, I think it's the good name, Ableton um, uh, At the first time, sorry for my bad English, uh, I try to do my best Okay, the second time I don't promote anything, I'm not sponsorized, I don't monetize my video, I don't make money with my video It's just for the fun and to help people to share experiences and uh, I call all the people to 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 do this, like uh, like I do. It's it's nice if you, if you can help people and to give an ID on the on other uh, users. Okay, so uh, I saw a guy uh, on the Facebook user page of Pictronics trying to do to sing this drummer. I think I don't remember. So and I, uh, I answer him that I tried this before, but the loop tool crashed all the time when I press on it. So no, I saw this post again, and as I was thinking about, it, I'm gonna retry and try the solution. But I think I found the solution to use uh, this uh, loop tool problem. So no, I'm not a MIDI expert. I don't use MIDI controllers, MIDI box to plug all. I don't have that. Okay, I'm gonna show you a simple way. Okay, so uh, to be honest, I I don't know anything about MIDI, so I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I rarely use uh, MIDI stuff. So, um, so maybe if other users more experiences and find maybe a better solution to to do what I'm gonna show. Let it know, it's, it's, it's nice to share your experiences with Sodos uh, user, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you this in a simple way. In a simple way, I use the cable that you see on the screen. Okay, it's low cost, no problem. I have this for years now, and I use this with my drum machine sometimes. Never had any problem. You just need to take attention to not step on the connection, on the, on the connector to, yeah. <laughs> With your body that you yeah you can then the, the main sheet of the connectors okay it's a three-way connector it's a midi in midi out a transmitter here and a usb okay this is what i use here you can see it here it's the same okay now if you have already uh, already uh, connect your cables or not before you start go to the manual page 45 okay on the page 45 you see an explication, an explication about power of the power of your Pictronics. Hold, press and hold the stop mode button while you reconnect it. Stay pressing, okay, you see a C and a 1, okay, it's channel 1 I think. Okay, if you see that just press one time to restart, okay. And now the Pictronics is going to detect the, the MIDI clock source. Okay, so that you need to do this, and with this, I never crash the loop through anymore. So now connect the cable on the PC with the USB. You see the red light, okay, and this is the in, MIDI in. So it's writing here on the sides, on the side, but you cannot see it uh, very nice. So take take a look when you buy this cable or another. It's writing here, so to repair you maybe a white mark of something. This is the in. I don't need it. I just need the out connected. Okay. So if this is all ready, you can use your your software. Go to option. Set preferences. Okay. Go to MIDI link here. In the MIDI link. You see the input USB MIDI is the name of my cable. So maybe you have another cable is another name. So but you need to see your cable on it. Okay, in the MIDI ports. Track on sync on. Sync type just go to MIDI clock. Okay, that's important. The MIDI clock. And here output USB MIDI is the name of your cable again. The second one must be on and so on. That's all. If you have this already like me, you can close this window. Now you see nothing has happened. Okay? What you need to know is that the looper gonna sync with the metronome of Ableton. Okay? In my case, I am so I'm not a MIDI expert, okay? So it's gonna now it's gonna always sync with the metronome. So if I click now the metronome on and I click on it, 
play, it's gonna sync now. Yeah, you see it. One, two, three, one. You see the flash, and you see that the transmission. This need to be uh, flashing, okay? And it's ready. No problem. Okay. If I go faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One. No problem. I go back to original. One, Twenty. Four. One, two, three, four. If I stop the metronome, it stopped synced. Okay. It's not like a drum machine that you 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 see the signal all the time. Well, maybe you can do this here, but I, I don't know the, what to do. I, I explain this in, in, in a simple way, okay? So now, to add the drums uh, of Ableton on it, just choose one. I'm gonna choose this. Okay. Uh, but you see, nothing is happening. There's a reason that you need to to, to launch your metronome, put the sound off your metronome, okay, and just click one time. The drum gonna begin on the first clock signal, on the MIDI clock signal, okay? Just click on the, on the drum, it's gonna sync. You see it synced, the metronome is on, but the sound of the metronome is off. Just click on the drum here, boom, and it's ready. Boom, and that's it. Just take your a guitar. Bus. And here we go. It's on it. No problem. because I hear a double tap of my strings. And that's it, you have it, go back, it's a C, uh, parallel, huh? okay. No problem, and you can add songs, it's no, no problem. Try to add something. Sync it 
it synced with the metronome, don't forget that. Just learn the beat, the drum beat, the drum beat gonna sync with the metronome and the metronome gonna sync with the looper. But if you stop the loop here, no problem. Okay, and now we're gonna start the looper again. Okay, here we go. Perfect sync, no problem. This looper is, is very, it's awesome. It's one of the best I have. I don't promote the, 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 the brand, okay, but the MIDI sync is, that's make this looper wonderful, okay? And it's no problem. Up, I look, and here we go. Okay, that's one one. So you can extend the drum. So I gonna I gonna draw through all that. I gonna make a, a short video. If you press stop here, no, on Ableton you gonna stop. Oh, okay. So if you want to drum to to put now. See, it's only it synced. Eh? It synced with the metronome, but you don't hear the drum. Just one click on the drum. And the drum gonna start on the next signal, okay? And here we go. No problem. Perfect. And I'm gonna stop this loop here, the loop two. Perfect thinking. <laughs> it's, just, it's awesome. And here we go. It's awesome. So that's 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 the way. Okay, that's one way. No, but there is a lot. That's, yes, is it drummer? Is it drummer? Can can you sing this loop or is it drummer? Yes, you can. You can use Easy Drummer. Uh, I'm gonna show you this, okay? But not in the way that you think, okay? With Easy Drummer uh, as a standalone, okay? I don't like this, okay? With a standalone. So you need to go to. We're gonna start with a fresh, fresh set, okay? To to start it as a fresh one. So now you go to Easy Drummer. You launch Easy Drummer. I'm gonna not extend the video, I'm gonna make it so simple, simple as, as possible to make a short video. Okay, you go to your browser. Just okay, you're gonna go to search. Okay, and, and go to tab find. Way okay, show result. Okay, here is a good one, and you're about the club. Okay, this is one way that you can go. Okay, I'm gonna stop, and you can go with the browser. Okay, vintage, you're gonna straight one verse, and I like this one. I'm gonna make it short. Okay, I'm gonna let the feel. Oh my god. Okay, now I select the, all this thing here, okay, and I put it here on the track. Now we can close this window, okay. This is the way, but now the drum gonna sync with the metronome. I say if I click here, I want it faster, I go faster.
and it stopped here so it stopped why because I forgot to say to, to, to do something okay so what you need to do in this case is loop your track here okay loop it okay now we start again and it synced okay no problem so you can make an extend your drums okay on easy drummer I don't should not show this to make it short for the video I'm gonna make it a serial loop, okay? That's it, no problem, okay? I'm gonna stop the loop now, okay? If you want to just begin with the loop here, okay, you need to, 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 
start the, the drum, but I have no MIDI controls, uh, so you, you need to start the drum at the good time. Two, three. Yeah, you can extend the drum also. Go back to my loop one. Okay. Raise this. Use the drum. So that was the video. I hope uh, I can help people with this. Okay, it's working. No problem with a stupid low cost cable. It's enough on UPC. So now I suppose that people have more experience with MIDI connector, MIDI foot switches, etc. and can do a lot more than me. Okay, but this is the simple way to synchronize the this awesome looper with Ableton. Okay. So thank you to watch this video and uh, I hope I see you I see you later, alligator.